Hi, Legal Highs Arguments for and Against Legalizing Cannabis in Australia. This is an article from Na- Nicole Lee, a professor at the National Drug Research, and Jared Barty. Now, the Greens leader Richard Natale wants Australia to legalize cannabis for personal use, regulated by a federal agency. The pro- proposal policy includes some safeguards that reflects lessons we learned from alcohol and tobacco. This includes a ban on advertising, etc. But according to the proposal, the government agency would license and monitor and regulate productions for sale. The cannabis legislation around the world. Greens want cannabis to be legal, but in Australia, cannabis possession and use is currently illegal. But in several states and territories, South Australia, ACT and Northern Territory, a small amount for personal use is decriminalised. That means it's legal, but not a criminal offence. In all others, it's subject to discretionary or mandatory diversion, usually by police referred as depenalisation. Several jurisdictions around the world have now legalised cannabis, and more apparently. Uruguay, Catalonia, nine states in the United States, and it's increasing. The, um, what are the concerns for legalisation? The opponents of legalisation are concerned it will increase use, increase crime, increase risk of car accidents and reduce public health, including mental health. Many are concerned cannabis is a, go- a gateway drug. Now the gateway drug hypothesis was discontinued disca- discounted decades ago, although cannabis usually comes before other illegal drug use. The majority of people who use cannabis do not go on to use other drugs. In addition, alcohol and tobacco usually precede cannabis use, which, if the theory were correct, would make those drugs the gateway. There is also evidence that legalization increases use, but the studies have shown a number of health risks, including around 10% of adults, 1 in 16, who are regularly will become dependent. Regular cannabis uses double the risk of psychotic symptoms and schizophrenia, Teen cannabis users is associated with poor school outcomes, but causation has not been established. Driving under the influence of cannabis doubles the risk of a car crash. Smoking while pregnant affects a baby's birth weight. So what are the arguments for legalisation? Reducing harm. Australia's official drug strategy is based on a platform of harm minimisation, including supply reduction, demand reduction, prevention and treatment and harm reduction. Arguably, policies should therefore have a net reduction in harm. But some of the major harms from using illicit drugs are precisely because they are illegal. A significant harm is having criminal record for possessing drugs that are for personal use. This can negatively impact a person's future, including careers and travel. Decriminalization of cannabis would also reduce these harms without requiring full legalization. So here's the article, um, there's also um, down the bottom here um, some further articles. If cannabis is getting stronger, why aren't there cases of schizophrenia rising? And comfortably numb why some older people turn to cannabis for pain relief. So I hope you enjoyed this article by the conversation and uh, please subscribe and like my video and uh, enjoy. Thank you.